What's up, rail gods? Beautiful day today. Sun shining. It's about 70 out. But honestly, I've been pretty stressed out all damn day. Turn this music down. I've been pretty stressed out today. These travel plans have been getting mixed up for Paris. And it's pissing me off. So I'll tell you how it went. Uh, yesterday, I was kind of just printing everything out that I needed. All the Airbnb stuff and uh, all the airport stuff. Flight tickets and confirmations and all that. And I noticed I bought my uh, Paris tickets through Priceline. So I checked on there and it said there's been uh, some sort of mix-up contact us or contact the, uh, the airline, which was British Airways. So then I got online, checked that out. And the, uh, the times was different and there wasn't even a return flight back home. I was like, what the hell is up with this? So I just kind of waited and I called this morning and come to find out uh, something about overlapping flights so British Airways completely canceled my return flight. The messed up part is I didn't get an email or nothing that the flights were even screwed up. So if I wouldn't have got on there and checked, like just to print my stuff out, when really I didn't even need to, I could have just did it on my phone when I got to the airport, I would have been screwed completely. Because for one, I would have been there at the wrong time, and two, I wouldn't even have had a flight home. So, screw you price lines, it's pretty screwed up. And then, to make it worse, I woke up and it said my Airbnb in Paris was canceled because of water damage. So now I'm kinda like frantically trying to get my shit situated. Gotta find another one by next Friday because that's when we leave is next Friday. So, but I guess it could be worse, you know. I'm just pretty stressed out about it. As much fun traveling is, it can be, uh, kind of hectic at times, especially when you're trying to get your shit figured out. It's one thing just to have one destination you're going to, but with me, I like going all over, so <laughs> we're doing a couple different stops, staying at a few different places. It makes it a little more interesting, but there's a lot more work that's involved and has to go into it, so I'm sure everything will be all right. But enough of me bitching and complaining. I'm going to pick up Brett right now, and then I'm gonna take him to my mom's for a little bit. I gotta get some stuff done and we will see you in a little bit. Let's get this day going. <laughs> got you. He <laughs> got you on there. Oh, trying to, I was trying to come in that way, just I was trying to come in that way, go through the bushes, just come Scare out. Me. How was your day? Good. Awesome. Just got Good. some Reese's. What'd you get? Reese's. Reese's? The new one. Oh, you already ate it? I already ate it. What the hell? It's supposed to share with me. They only gave me one. Take a look at this big old beast. God damn. Sunny yacht, huh? What do you think of that? I think it's about 25 years old. <sighs> Lady next door is out in the porch. What the hell is he recording that boat for? That thing's a piece of shit. But no, that uh, look at that thing. Thing's a goddamn, goddamn vessel. He said I could have it last year, actually. <laughs> he said if I got it out of there, I could have it. I thought about it, but I mean, shit, that thing's garbage. Or should I get it? Who thinks I should get that thing? Who wants to come party with me on my yacht? We'd rail. <laughs> Whistles at me during the day when I'm watching TV here all by myself. And the dog? Yeah. Stop. No, that camera up there. What camera? Craig spies on me. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. Where is it? Up on top of the buffet up there. That black thing? Yep. Why would he put a camera in here? So he could detect movement, see what the kids are doing at school, make sure they're safe. So when me and Tanner are sitting in the day, I'll take a camera. I like his, his cards look called. Getting us some cherry berry. I still got on my school uniform. Mm, you look good. It's there, bros. What can you get? Consist. What kind is that, Red? Orange suckers. Orange? Everybody. Learns. What else you getting? 
just gonna put all nerds in there. You gotta put something else. What else you can turn? Always gotta have cookie dough. Cookie dough? I don't know about that. Shark versus trade. It's a dab, Rose! Alright, quit dabbing. Let's go. He's got to do what? Uh, it's October. It's a dab, Rose! It's October. Uh, it's a dab, Rose! Oh, that cherry bear. It's a dab, Rose! Alright, so let me finish this. Let me finish this video. It's, uh. Uh, uh. October uh, Book uh, Week. Uh, <laughs> Get out of here. Shark versus turtle. But he's got to read. 150 uh, minutes this month. Uh, listen to me. Uh, listen right, to me. Go, go, go. Shaq versus train. Who will win? <laughs> <laughs> End of the video right here. Subscribe, Stop share. It. Listen to Thanks me. Thanks for following me. Listen to me right now. Peace. So, guys, today we will be, we will be rating Shark versus train. Mm hmm. Let's go. Read this thing. I'm going to choo choo you up and spit you out. I'm going to finish you mackle breath. Who will win? Or in a or in hot air balloons. Good reading. Finish it up. Good job. Doing great. Roasting marshmallows. It's a dab, Rose! It's a dab, Rose! God, you have way <laughs> too much energy. It's a dab, Rose! They probably need hearing aids now. Peace, sir!